Hello everyone. With the US reopening in phases, they are trying to push the unemployment statistics up. But, with more jobs being added each month, more and more workers are being misclassified as employed but not at work. And that might have created the issue where they should have been shown as temporarily laid off, which was why the unemployment was so high. But, retail and restaurants across America are slowly going back to normal and of course, adding new jobs. Here are the sectors which will see the most growth. The first ones are restaurant and bar workers. Everyone's been inside, and with 1.4 million being added to the workforce. It will help boost the economy. At this point, it will possibly affect some businesses, and we may still see shutdowns amongst those who can't get back what they managed to lose before this. Another place is construction, where the jobs increased by over 400,000 in May, getting over half of what they lost in April. As construction was part of the phased reopening, and it was one of the first to reopen, retail is another. Right now, there are currently 367,800 jobs back in business, and stores. Including major retail chains and mom and pop stores are reopening. Walmart was well as of course increasing their workforce too. They did this to help ease the burden of current workers who gave those lost jobs a second chance. Factories too are seeing a comeback, with over 225,000 jobs coming back. While they did see the largest production drop since 1946, they're now getting back into it. And now, they're trying to take as much precautions as possible to keep people safe during all of this. Dentists and healthcare workers will also see an increase. Dentists had to close their offices, seeing only patients who needed attention. The hires also jumped high in May, boosting the reopening of these dental offices. This is encouraging not just for the economy and the dental industry, but also that patients are returning and there is trust and confidence in their clinician. Finally, there is laundry and personal care, which has new jobs. This does include food delivery workers, and of course anyone who is also delivering items. It doesn't count contractors such as Uber Eats or Postmates, or any Amazon drivers that are part-timers. Laundry is considered an essential business, but some of them did close. However, now that things are reopening, these have opened up too. While we don't go all the way back to normal from here on out, this is a sign that the economy is getting back to normal, and it may be a lot easier to get back to normal than we think. I hope you will find it helpful. Please share your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.